All right, y'all stop, sir, stop. Our passenger is out of the vehicle. Okay. You're going to climb back over. Police officers in Florida navigate a well-lit, bug-infested swamp in pursuit of suspects. The pursuit begins as they move through the challenging terrain. Here, let me see your hands. You're gonna get bit. Right here. Let me see your hands. The chase takes an amusing turn when an officer abruptly ends it, claiming to have found the suspect. The clever suspect hid among the shrubs of the forest within the swamps. Get up! Yeah, stand by, not compliant, we're in the water. You better let me see your hands. As officers clear the shrubbery, they discover the culprit lying in the shrubs with a police K-9 beside him, not growling, but affectionately licking his face. All right, first off, give me your hand. Upon apprehension, the culprit requests to be shot and attempts to resist arrest. However, in the end, he is arrested, all thanks to a police dog that made him laugh by licking his face. Deep within an Oklahoma warehouse, an officer and his partner, a police K-9 named Bear, hunt for a concealed suspect. The dark warehouse becomes the setting for their pursuit, utilizing the officer's touch and the canine's heightened senses. Bear abruptly changes course, following a scent that leads him under a shelf. The officer discovers the suspect tucked away, attempting to evade the law. In the end, officers dismantle the man's hiding spot, and he surrenders, ultimately apprehended, all thanks to the keen instincts of a super bright doggo. Morning at 4 a.m. The store hadn't even been able to board up the business yet when this suspect decided to rob them. Back to the crime at hand. Deputies had a dis In the riveting saga of stolen PS5S, Officer Ice, a four-legged hero, takes the lead. In pursuit of the GameStop robber, Ice sniffs out the suspect's trail like a detective on caffeine. He's arrived with one of their dogs, Canine Ice. <laughs> Bounding through the crime scene, Ice turns the pursuit into a real-life hide-and-seek game, leading to an elementary school. The suspect, a champion fence hopper, jumps fences like he's in a suburban Olympics fences in the neighborhood south of the elementary school next door. When officers think they've cracked the case, ICE has other plans. The adventure continues into the woods, through gates, and into the heart of the suburbs, a canine detective drama with more tail wagging. Deputies tracked into the woods and located stolen property along the fence line. The grand finale unfolds as the suspect is caught red-handed in a shed thanks to Officer Ice's impeccable investigative skills. A game of fetch turns into a pursuit with high stakes. In one yard, officers discover a swinging swing becoming suspicious. After rummaging, they catch the suspect hiding in a shed, Ice barking until the arrest. Crime, consoles, and a canine companion. A story that even Ice gives two paws up. Lesson learned. Never underestimate the nose of justice, especially when accompanied by a wagging tail. On Saturday, May 8th, 2021, the Flagler County Sheriff's Office, FCSO, responded to a call about a missing adult who left a group home due to losing television privileges. FCSO deputies arrived on the scene upon hearing that the subject was out of sight. Right 
Sergeant Gimble and FCSO K9 Holmes took charge, collecting an article of the subject's clothing and initiating a search. In the pursuit, Holmes and the officer encountered the subject. Despite calls to halt, the suspect ran deeper into the grove. Give me your hand. No handcuffs. Undeterred, Sergeant Gimbel and K-9 Holmes continued the chase, catching up with the suspect. In the end, the suspect was apprehended and escorted out of the groves to a hospital for a checkup, albeit against his will. On Tuesday, March 23rd, the Pasco Sheriff's Office received a call about a stolen car. Deputies, including K-9 Depratip Miller and K-9 Buster, immediately responded. The video begins with officers stopping in the woods, rushing to a car assumed to be stolen, blaring its horn under a tree. However, the car was empty, prompting a search for the culprit. Northern south. What's it? And uh, based on that, can we get a unit at... Uh The cop car with the hero dog arrives, and K-9 Buster starts sniffing the car before zooming into the woods with his handler. What happens next showcases the exceptional skills of K-9 officers. Good boy. Encouraged by his handler's praise, the dog leads deeper into the woods, clearly enjoying the hunt. He diligently chases the scent with his snout to the ground, bringing them closer to the suspect. Show me your hands right now! Show me your hands! On your face right now! On your face! For approximately 30 minutes, the team tracks through a wooded area and a swamp, finally locating one suspect hidden in a bush. The chase then leads to a clearing with two old white houses. Here, the dog finds the culprit hiding in the shrubs, prompting the officer to arrest him. Hey! Come here! Hey! Come here! That's a good hound! He's a good hound! In the end, impressed with Buster's work, the handler bursts into laughter, calling his dog in for hugs, pats, and even a kiss. Buster proves to be one good boy in this extraordinary chase and capture. Hi. So fill me in what you guys know. Last seen jumping somewhere between. On November 20th, 2021, K9 Officer Stone and his partner Haywire responded to a tracking request for a hit and run suspect who had threatened bystanders with a firearm. They joined a SWAT team composed of Captain Baldwin, Officer Benish, Officer Bookman, and Officer Brash. The video starts with Officer Stone and Haywire arriving at the scene, where they join the waiting SWAT team. Officers exchange greetings, and Stone is briefed on the general description of the suspect's location. Stop. Armed with the information, Haywire and Stone spring into action, searching for the culprit. The diligent K-9 catches a scent and leads the team through yards and houses in pursuit of the suspect. However, what happens next takes a shocking turn. Hey, right here. Here. After minutes of relentless searching, Haywire exhibits unusual behavior near a White House, becoming insistent on going behind it. The dog's determination becomes so pronounced that he ignores his handler's attempts to redirect him. In the end, it's revealed that Haywire not only found the culprit, but also assisted in his arrest, holding the suspect in place as the officers moved in. The video captures the intense and effective collaboration between Officer Stone, Haywire, and the SWAT team. Holding the River Bend Church. Yeah, I'm trying. Bail out, bail out. Two black males, one's got red shorts on, black shirt, one's got... On Saturday, May 9th, 2021, a license plate reader alerted deputies to a stolen Ford Escape. A deputy attempted a traffic stop on SR40, but the SUV evaded, driving through the median and into oncoming traffic lanes. He's that way. Yep. All right. After two stop stick hits, the suspects abandoned the vehicle at Riverbend Community Church. 
the deputy on duty requested a K-9 unit. Initially, chasing the culprits on foot proved unsuccessful, prompting the officer to bring in his K-9. The dog eagerly led the pursuit into the woods after the fleeing suspects. Unexpectedly, the dog loses concentration after being distracted by a discarded bag. Initial frustration turns to understanding as the dog refocuses on the task at hand. Let me see your hands. I can't see you at all. I'll get him off as soon as I can get to you. Within minutes, the dog finds and bites one of the suspects hiding in the bushes, leading to a swift arrest. Stricken by fear and pain, the culprit surrenders almost immediately upon discovery. As for the second culprit, the dog proves relentless. The canine locates and bites the second suspect, bringing an end to the pursuit. The message is clear. You can run, but can't hide from the determined and effective canine unit. On October 4th, 2023, the Wauwatosa Police Department responded to a retail theft call at Dick's Sporting Goods in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. The incident unfolded as follows. The officer swiftly located the suspect's vehicle and initiated a traffic stop, but the suspect refused to comply, resulting in a high-speed chase with an unexpected twist. Minutes into the pursuit, the suspect pulled over. Recognizing the unpredictable nature of the situation, the officer called for backup and requested stop sticks as a precaution against potential escape attempts. It's ready to roll down their windows. Yep. Driver of the Camry, roll down. Despite attempts to communicate, the suspect remained uncooperative. One backup officer approached cautiously, while another placed stop sticks in front of the vehicle to thwart any escape strategy. Unexpectedly, the suspect accelerated, leading to a reckless high-speed chase through traffic. The pursuit culminated in a dramatic crash and a chaotic scramble on 84th Street, with three individuals quickly exiting the vehicle, one of whom was arrested almost immediately. And foot bail, foot bail, foot bail. Three occupants. Undeterred, officers persisted in their search for the fleeing suspect, who had disappeared into a nearby neighborhood. With the assistance of a K-9 unit, they tracked and apprehended the suspect hiding behind garbage cans. The suspect was taken into custody and charged with fleeing or eluding a police officer and shoplifting. Hey, get your hands up! Oh, hands no. up! Hands up! You're gonna get bit! Come on! The officers, unwavering in their pursuit, successfully located and apprehended the suspect with the help of a K-9 unit, resulting in charges of fleeing or eluding a police officer and shoplifting. On October 16th, 2022, a Brookhaven police officer identified a stolen black Dodge Durango at a Chevron gas station in Atlanta, Georgia, leading to the following events. Two officers swiftly surrounded the suspect, attempting to trap him. Despite their efforts, the suspect, refusing to surrender, accelerated through the barricade and into traffic. Anticipating the escape attempt, officers pursued the suspect, resulting in a decisive intervention. One officer T-boned the car with his cruiser, while additional cop cars surrounded the culprit, preventing any further escape. Oh 
Undeterred, the suspect leaped out of the window, over the cop cars and began running. Officers, both on foot and in vehicles, relentlessly pursued the culprit, nearly running him over multiple times. As the chase continued for minutes, a K-9 unit was called for backup. The police dog played a crucial role, chasing the suspect over a fence and ultimately bringing an end to his escape as the dog caught and subdued him. On March 26, 2022, Deputy Witt encountered a white Nissan with red spray-painted trim on Highway 42, matching the description of a reported stolen vehicle from Sumter County. The sequence of events unfolded as follows. In response to Deputy Witter's attempt to catch up for a traffic stop, the driver, later identified as 45-year-old James Dale Wells, executed a U-turn and fled. Undeterred, the deputy initiated a chase to apprehend Wells. The chase was brief, as Wells pulled into the parking lot of a family dollar store, abandoned the stolen vehicle, and fled into the woods. K-9 handler Alan Lee and his partner, K-9 Bolo, were called to track Wells. Firstly, K-9 Bolo located the discarded shoes Wells had left behind while fleeing. Subsequently, the key fob for the stolen vehicle was discovered. Continuing the track, K-9 Bolo led deputies to where Wells was hiding behind a fence in some shrubs. Faced with the impending prospect of being apprehended by K-9 Bolo, Wells wisely chose to surrender to deputies. Consequently, he was arrested for grand theft of a motor vehicle and resisting an officer without violence. Officers encountered a startling twist when a speeding vehicle they attempted to stop turned out to be stolen. After a tire blew out, the driver abandoned the vehicle, prompting Deputy Sentner and K-9 Jaeger to deploy and pursue the suspect in the woods. Without delay, the duo swiftly entered the woods to chase the suspect. The pursuit lasted only moments as the officer, accompanied by his highly energetic K-9, commanded the suspect to halt. In the conclusion, Jaeger caught up to the suspect, showcasing the consequences of evading the law. The dog not only apprehended, but also subdued the suspect by biting him. The culprit, wanted on multiple felony warrants from Pasco County, was arrested for charges including fleeing to elude, possession of methamphetamine, possession of drug paraphernalia, felony habitual DWLSR, and other offenses. That's going to flee out the bank. Um, once other patrol officers responded on scene. To on February 2nd, around 1.48 a.m., officers responded to an alarm at Capital One Bank on 8,676 Georgia Avenue, unaware of an ongoing bank robbery. Bank security, monitoring cameras remotely, spotted someone inside, relaying suspect details and updates to the Emergency Communication Center 911, The initial officer, part of a K-9 unit, discovered broken windows upon arrival and observed the suspect moving within the bank. You're watching! Get on the ground now! All the way down! Hands out! Stand just like that! Watch him, bud! Watch him! Officers, warning the suspect to surrender or face the K-9, entered through the broken window. Despite commands, the suspect initially resisted. Fortunately, the situation ended peacefully, and the suspect, identified as Mohammed, was taken into custody unharmed. However, two officers received medical treatment for non-life-threatening injuries sustained during the entry, and a veterinarian treated the canine for a laceration. They just racked into a pool, stand by. On February 24th, 2018, K-9 Deputy Carmack faced a challenging pursuit of a stolen Ford Expedition. 
The chase concluded abruptly with a crash into a telephone pole on Denton Avenue. The driver fled on foot, leading to the deployment of K-9 Shep for apprehension. Right now! Get him, Shep! Get him, Shep! Get him! Get him, Shep! Here's behind you, bro, right now. Here's behind you, right now. While Deputy Carmack pursued K-9 Shep and the fleeing driver, the passenger attempted to escape, but was promptly arrested by the quick-thinking officer, who shouted for Shep to pursue the driver. With backup still distant, Deputy Carmack took an unconventional approach, making the arrested passenger run with him to locate K-9 Shep and the driver. The odd pair traversed the woods, calling out for the dog and searching for the driver. My dog's got a hold of me. He's running with my dog. Where is, uh, where is somebody? Get on the ground now! I'm not taking him! Get him, Shep! While running, Deputy Carmack observed the driver dragging K-9 Shep further onto the property in an attempt to flee. The deputy, displeased, shouted for the perpetrator to release the dog and surrender. West of where the wreck is, uh, it's a dirt driveway. It goes northbound. I'm up here, I got one on his face. And I got one. In the end, the driver surrendered when Deputy Carmack caught up with him in front of a house in the woods. The arrest occurred without further incident highlighting the officer's resourcefulness and determination to resolve the situation. In this video, K-9 Endo is deployed to apprehend two suspects who fled recklessly after an armed robbery at an Ormond Beach 7-Eleven, leading them into the woods in Flagler County. The officer and his K-9 enter the woods in hot pursuit of the perpetrators, armed with a gun and a flashlight, meticulously scouring the area for the culprits. Endo skillfully locates and bites the first suspect lying in the shrubs within seconds. The man is promptly arrested, surrendered, and pleads with Endo to release him. Endo returns to the woods following the first arrest to search for the second suspect. Once again, they meticulously comb the area, and in mere minutes, Endo finds the second suspect, biting him and causing him to shout in pain as officers arrive to make the arrest. The efficient and precise actions of K-9 Endo led to the successful apprehension of both suspects. Picture of a dude who escaped from our jail, oh, so uh, and uh, okay, let's just be escape three. About 20 grand worth of uh, 80, 80. On May 2nd, 2018, Seattle police officer Anthony Ducre responded to a call from the Kent Police Department for assistance in locating Giovanni Deshawn Herrin, who had just escaped from Kent County Jail and was believed to be hiding in an industrial warehouse. Hey, search. Search. Hey. Here, come out. Come out. Here. Here. Go, boy. Officer Ducre introduces Jedi, the K-9, to the scene. Together, they sweep the warehouse for the suspect. Jedi, enthusiastically exploring, sniffs around, using his keen sense of smell to detect any signs of the escapee. Good boy! Good boy! That's a good boy! That's a good boy! And you just need to sit at the, kit, the, kit, uh, the city limits. After an extensive search, the officers shout warnings to the suspect, alerting him to the dog's presence. Negotiating through machinery, they enter the warehouse. Jedi, pointing with conviction, leads them to a boat under a tarp. In the end, the culprit is apprehended, and Officer Ducre expresses pride in Jedi's performance, rewarding him with head rubs and commendations for being a good boy. The successful collaboration between Officer Ducre and Jedi leads to the capture of the escaped individual. Hold your light off your head. Oh, never mind. Turn yours off, just use ours. In case they're armed. On February 19th, just after 10.30 p.m., Tallahassee Police Department officers received a report of a stolen vehicle traveling on Tennessee Street. Attempting a traffic stop, officers found themselves in a high-speed pursuit. Air One, a joint aviation unit between LCSO and TPD, tracked the stolen vehicle to a wooded area on Highway 20 near Co Landing Road. <coughs> Oh, 
Uh, All yeah, right, stop, sir, stop, sir, stop. The suspects, Daniel Peavy and Anna Robeson, abandoned the stolen vehicle and fled into the woods. Responding to the scene, a TPD K9 unit initiated a track that spanned over 40 minutes before successfully locating Peavy and Robeson in a dense patch of woods. Fortunately, the situation concluded smoothly as the suspects were found, surrendered, and subsequently taken into custody without further incident. The collaborative efforts of the TPD officers, Air One and the K9 unit, played a crucial role in the successful resolution of the case. 5.30 p.m. A deputy observed a vehicle driving 99 miles per hour on US 151 in Fond du Lac County, Wisconsin. On February 28, 2023, at approximately 5.30 p.m., a deputy observed a vehicle traveling 99 miles per hour on US 151 in Fond du Lac County, Wisconsin. Attempting a traffic stop, the deputy activated emergency lights, but the vehicle increased speed, initiating a prolonged chase. The driver skillfully weaved through traffic in an attempt to evade capture. After minutes of pursuit, the deputy obtained license plate information, prompting a lieutenant's advice to terminate the chase. Drive recklessly. A short time later, a Rosendale officer located the suspect vehicle and began pursuing it. Despite attempts to end the pursuit, dispatch received multiple calls, indicating the suspect vehicle continued driving recklessly. Shortly afterward, a Rosendale officer located the suspect vehicle and initiated another pursuit. Field on Highway 26, and the driver fled on foot. N85816. The second chase was short-lived as the suspect vehicle crashed into a field on Highway 26 and the driver attempted to flee on foot. The officer deployed their K-9, warning the suspect of potential consequences. Going that way. The suspect disregarded the officer's warnings, leading to a foot pursuit with the K-9. The pursuit extended into the woods as they searched for the suspect. In the end, the suspect was apprehended and arrested, found hiding in a shed in the middle of the woods. Fortunately, he avoided being bitten by the K-9, and the arrest transpired without resistance. Okay, going east on Baywood around the 90 degree. Going to be coming back out to Maplewood. Just before 2 a.m., Air One, on proactive patrol, spotted a vehicle driving recklessly in Daytona Beach. A deputy attempted a traffic stop, and the vehicle fled at high speed, heading out of Daytona Beach into northwest Volusia County, with a helicopter following overhead and police in pursuit. Okay, they are parked at the 90 degree turn. Passengers out of the vehicle. Okay, how many occupants we got here? One. After a few minutes of driving, the suspects abruptly parked in the middle of an isolated road and fled the vehicle on foot, attempting to escape. However, their plan did not succeed. You in the white shirt, start crawling. White shirt, start crawling. No, keep crawling. The sheriff first warned them of his dog before setting it loose on them as the duo charged into the woods. Frightened by the dog, the perpetrators surrendered, kneeling with their hands in the air, enabling the sheriff to make the arrest. Sir, with the Laporte Police Department was on patrol when he casually recognized a local sex offender getting into a white truck. This sex offender is apparently so well known. In February 2023, a Laporte Police Department officer on patrol casually recognized a local sex offender getting into a white truck. The sex offender was so well known that the officer even knew his driver's license was suspended off the top of his head. The officer followed the suspect as he drove. He's a pedophile. So just in case anyone asks, Stephen Campbell is definitely not a twice convicted pedophile. Pulling over the offender, the officer came down from his car and went to check on the driver. Approaching the car, the officer asked to search it with his dog. Yeah, yeah. 
fire. Sniffing around the car, the dog was alerted and suspected something was inside. Eventually, 58-year-old Stephen Campbell was arrested on a felony charge for possessing a controlled substance. This with the track. That's when canine Eddie and his handler showed up to help. In this video, an officer and his canine named Eddie scour the woods in search of two 30-year-old fugitives. One had warrants for escaping prison, unlawful possession of a firearm, and unlawful possession of a controlled substance with intent to deliver. The other had a dock warrant. When deputies moved in to arrest the fugitives, the prison escapee fled on foot through an adjoining wooded area. Collaborating with the FBI, the officer and handler duo ventured into the woods to track down the suspects. Initially, the dog showed interest in a white shoe in the bushes, but they quickly moved on, resuming their search for the culprits. Good boy, buddy. Once they had him in custody, they had everyone exit the suspect's apartment, where they found the second suspect inside. A few minutes later, Eddie made contact with a suspect who immediately surrendered after being bitten. The other suspect was found in an apartment, and the dock then conducted a search, discovering a firearm and a thousand fentanyl pills inside the vehicle. In this video, a suspect attempting to flee in a stolen car encounters unexpected obstacles, leading to a dramatic police intervention. Put the car in park! An officer tries to remove a non-compliant suspect from his car, but the suspect speeds away, exposing the stolen vehicle. The officers promptly react, blocking the road to capture the fleeing suspect. Realizing the suspect is trapped, an officer instructs him to put the car in park. Ignoring the command, the suspect accelerates, narrowly avoiding hitting an officer. Another officer strategically deploys stop sticks, causing the suspect's tires to burst and forcing him to flee on foot into the woods. The situation escalates as a K-9 unit is summoned. If you run, the dog's going. Get over there now! With the assistance of a K-9 unit and an overhead helicopter, law enforcement successfully navigates the woods, locating and apprehending the suspect for arrest. Well, yeah, right here. You can see the scuff mark right there. And then he dropped. I just threw some brush down in here as we were just walking, so he must still be in this area. At 1.27 p.m. on November 1st, deputies responded to a potential single vehicle accident at 102nd Ave E and Meridian Ave E. Reports indicated the vehicle had moved into a driveway, leaving debris on the roadway. The initial deputy found a partially off-road minivan with the male driver nearby. Upon the deputy's arrival, the man fled into the woods, initially without apparent cause for pursuit. After conversing with a woman in the vehicle, deputies discovered the man's identity and a protection order in place. With probable cause for violation of a protection order, they sought assistance from a K-9 unit, leading to the arrival of Deputy Munson and K-9 Bricks. Deputy Munson and K-9 Bricks engaged in a prolonged pursuit lasting 30 minutes. The tracking journey involved negotiating challenging terrain, including a steep decline to a creek bed, ascending a hill, descending again, and traversing dense brush and sticker bushes. They urged the suspect to surrender, offering encouragement to the dog. I'm gonna see your hands. Get your hands out. Get your hands out. Bricksy, hold on. Ultimately, K-9 Bricks located the suspect in the creek, biting him and prompting his arrest. Deputy Munson and K-9 Bricks' unwavering determination successfully resolved the situation. On June 27th, around 12.30 a.m., 
Tallahassee Police Department officers responded to an armed robbery at the Circle K on 1848 Capital Circle Northeast. The suspect, Tristan Warren, entered the store with a firearm, demanded money, and fled in a vehicle. An officer quickly located the suspect vehicle, attempting a traffic stop. However, the suspect fled at high speed, eventually stopping in the 2700 block of Capital Circle Northeast and abandoning the vehicle. Put your arms out to your side. Hey, I'm gonna come by you. Okay. Good boy. A dispatched K-9 unit, accompanied by its handler, initiated a swift search for the culprits. Within minutes of release, the dog located and apprehended the man hiding in the bushes behind a fence, leading to his prompt arrest. The effective teamwork between the K-9 unit and its handler ensured the successful and timely apprehension of the suspect. In this video, an officer inspects two bikes without license plates, leading to an unexpected sequence of events. Like an endorsement? Yeah. You have a regular driver's license though? Yeah. He's running. Hey, police, stop! During the inspection, the officer questions one of the bikers about a bag's contents. Instead of cooperating, the biker decides to flee. The officer swiftly gives chase through a suburban neighborhood until, regrettably, losing sight of the suspect. However, this is not the end of the story. Five months later, the same suspect is apprehended in a stolen vehicle, attempting to flee once again. The officer is prepared this time, utilizing a K-9 unit in the search. After minutes of pursuit, the man is located behind a warehouse by the dog, resulting in a bite that facilitates the officer's vengeance and leads to the suspect's arrest. On July 5th, 2023, at 10.24am, deputies responded to a call about a vehicle trespassing on 72nd St. E and Pipeline RDE in Tacoma. The caller expressed concern about the person in the front seat, slumped over on the property where boulders had been moved to gain access. Upon arrival, Deputies checked on the driver's well-being and investigated why he had driven his vehicle past barricades and rocks. The man, initially cooperative, changed his demeanor when deputies informed him that the license plate on his vehicle was stolen. Attempting to detain him, he fled, leading to a foot pursuit and a minor tumble in the woods. The deputy, collecting himself, decided to wait for additional units, calling for assistance from K-9 Eddie. You move, you will be tased. Do you understand? Good boy. K-9. Eddie, experienced in the hide-and-seek game, swiftly went into action. Within a couple of minutes, Eddie located the man in the woods, facilitating his arrest. The coordinated efforts of the deputies and K-9 Eddie ensured the effective apprehension of the suspect, demonstrating their response to the situation. Yeah, boy. In this video, Officer Johnson and K-9 Ace track an aggravated assault suspect. Upon arriving at the scene, the officers promptly initiated their search for the perpetrator. The pursuit led them into the woods, culminating in a swift resolution as Ace, the canine, discovered the suspect hiding under a log in a creek, and the suspect was promptly arrested. On October 15th, near Ocala, Florida, a 24-year-old driver engaged in reckless behavior, prompting the attention of Marion County Sheriff's Office deputies. Exiting a Circle K parking lot hastily, the driver displayed erratic driving, hitting speeds of up to 100 miles per hour, frequently changing lanes and running a red light. Suspecting the driver to be intoxicated, deputies attempted a routine traffic stop, but the driver chose to accelerate, initiating a high-speed chase. The driver navigated recklessly through the Greenway Trailhead parking lot during the chase, narrowly missing two individuals. A deputy deployed stop sticks to halt the pursuit, successfully deflating all four tires. 
With incapacitated tires, the driver lost control, crashing through a residential property's fence and colliding with concrete, bringing the vehicle to a halt. However, this wasn't the end of the pursuit. Please! Please! My life oh. is threatened! Please! I thought I lost this. In a desperate attempt to escape, the driver used his head to shatter the passenger side window, emerging from the vehicle. Fleeing on foot, the driver prompted a swift response from law enforcement with a canine unit dispatched to track him down. Despite the attempt, he was eventually captured in the yard of a nearby residence. On March 1, 2023, officers in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, pulled over a man with a suspended license and no insurance, claiming to pick up his girlfriend from work. Appearing nervous and providing vague answers, the officers ran a check and discovered open drug cases in his past. Suspecting drug possession due to Nathan's history and the marijuana odor from the car, they asked him to step out for further questioning. Good. Uh, do you know why I'm pulling you over? Yeah, because my license is suspended. Yeah, man. What are you doing out driving? I literally was going to go pick up the gal that works over at Taco Bell. Nathan, asserting he hadn't used drugs since leaving jail, faced skepticism. The officers brought in a K-9 to sniff the vehicle, leading to a search. The K-9 signaled, indicating potential drugs. Anxious, Nathan discussed missed court dates while hoping nothing incriminating was found. Unfortunately, the search resulted in Nathan's arrest, revealing a significant amount of meth, weed and other drugs in his car. In response to an alarm, the Oklahoma City Police Department discovered two suspects stealing a catalytic converter who fled. The OKCPD swiftly deployed a drone and a K-9 unit for pursuit. The drone pilot efficiently located the suspects in the woods, guiding the K-9 to apprehend them. Officers successfully captured the first suspect, who surrendered willingly, while the second required the K-9's intervention, putting an end to the criminal activities. In this video, Sergeant Abernathy and K-9 Odin embarked on a midnight chase on April 30th, 2022, tracking a hit-and-run suspect. K-9. Odin swiftly located the suspect in the woods, showcasing remarkable efficiency in tracking. The culprit was apprehended, making Odin a source of pride for the officers involved.